day two in Philanopolopolis, which is also called Plovdiv. Old town and going very early in the morning to see the ancient amphitheatre. I think we are now approaching the amphitheatre finally. It's only taken us two days to find it and we're still not sure. Not Hopefully it's up this giant staircase. <sighs> Yeah. <sighs> We're still hunting round, but if you go up this alleyway, not round that church, allegedly it's 50 metres away. But wear sensible shoes. Definitely not high heel stuff. So this is the real old part. Look at the 18th century houses. When Plovdiv was booming, when it became part of Bulgaria and it got very <coughs> wealthy. <clears throat> it's going to be well worth it when we get there it's right through those gates but you know what there's a bar here as well Ooh, well placed we are here we just get out, got to get our tickets and oh my goodness me it looks an incredible amphitheater getting in for two adults and one child cost us 10 lev we've been calling it liras but today my husband said that the Bulgarian currency was actually the lev um, and they prefer cash so this is interesting these guys are trying to find the toilet which is all the way over there and it's a minefield to find the toilets it's also extremely slippy here we made it through the entrance we got our tickets there's a beautiful city of Plovdiv what a view and here is the amphitheater. I walked to the other side. My daughter needed the, the toilet. Looks like they're having a live concert here. Maybe Ed Sheeran's coming. It's quite a magnificent view. The Roy Doig Mountains over in the background. And there's a couple of the seven hills that they talk about. We're plugged in. One thing we've learned previously about stadiums from the one that we saw in Heropolis which had a water area and again you can see here there is water in below and it's not because it's been raining because there's zero rain around here it's because they can have them plumbed with water so that it can do water spectaculars and other stuff so this is for opera and I'm trying to wo wonder which opera but it's got a ruined boat that they're gonna drag on the stage and I understand that the acoustics in here are phenomenal. You can see just from a perfectly healthy man and his daughter trying to get up and down these steps that this is probably somewhere you're gonna come and stand at the top and marvel over rather than take a trip around. It's definitely his workout for today. And why am I not wandering up and down here? Well, I have vertigo and this is a vertiginous drop. Here come my very intrepid explorers. I can't even work out what angle it would be. Well, about 125 degree angle for the stairs. I think it's quite a lot. How was the walk, guys? It looks bad. Did you have your workout there? There's a view from the other end. Looks like we beat the tourists to it. And what a great view of the city. And the super cute cafe right by the amphitheater and you can use your bank card if you spend over 20 lev and they helped us get that way look we got pizza bake rolls which we've seen advertised everywhere haven't we so um plovdick is very famous for its um lemonade so i've got myself a nice pink lemonade here that's a green lemonade pink sorry green i am as i said yesterday I am feeling the, the driving today and we've got a big drive tomorrow and our Gemini over here is getting over dramatic <laughs> while tasting her lemonade. The ancient town, mainly um, ancient because it takes forever to get around on these cobblestones. Oh look, La Martin house. <laughs> 
damn tourists. Look at this world's cutest honey shop. Smile for the cameras. And they give a history of honey. And then, honey. is this not the cutest beehive you've ever seen That's in all natural. of your life? Is that an actual beehive? The Apiarus, since 1920. But daddy could do this. They've received the be. deeds to the family's apiary, wow. They, they had promising careers in Silicon Valley, but moved here. This is truly cool. Like Bees myself. have four wings, five eyes, and six legs. That's insane. Worker bees live as little as six weeks in the summer and six months in the winter. That's so sad. But how cool is this? This is H&M, somewhere where I wouldn't ordinarily go. And there's an ancient rune in the middle of it, and we are off downstairs to have a look. So look there is the clothes rail and there's the ancient ruin. How cool is that? So you can see the stadium. The step. That is where they would have run around. Even a little lion feet. And then over here. One of the entrance tunnels. Even the old pipe works still in place. That's just how they go And then it's back from seven, seventeen hundred and fifty years ago to the present day. Isn't that not for children? And she's shopping. Yeah, it's Oh, fist bumping. Oh. Mr. Banana Man. <laughs> He's still moving. Is having a traddle nick, which is a Czech pudding sweet thing, which is like a hollow donut, and then it's filled with ice cream and yummies. What do you think, Thea? Is it good? Loving it? Yeah. I think she's very happy, Bonnie. Scott, on the other hand, is desperate to eat real food and drink good coffee. Wow. So the ice cream of the Traddle Nick has gone, and now we're on, what does it taste like? Cinnamon. Cinnamon? Is it good? It seems crunchy as well. And has it got chocolate inside? Has it? It sounds like the perfect pudding for a child. I take it if we lived here, you would love these all the time, yeah? Two weeks on the road, this is what it does to you. So lunch is in now, bow, folks. Oh, we really don't now know how to. Now, bow. Now, bow. And this restaurant is in Kapana and it just seems to go all the way around. It's like all over the place, this one. So it's basically near Huku. And I came here because I saw the salads on the first night, and this place is always packed and it looks yummy. So, what are you having? I can't remember. But it's cold beetroot soup. That's the one. Yummy. Here, well I'm hoping here, you, they seem to give you um, homemade homemade brown, brown yeah. healthy bread. It's really good. Let's they, see if they do them. They do have a real thing about the salads, don't they, as well? Yeah, Salad is this, big. And their vegetarian food is big. So if you're vegetarian, I'm not actually a vegetarian, even though it looks like I'm eating lots of vegetarian food. But if you're a vegetarian, this place kicks the backside out of Serbia. I so this is 
I'm just going to video Mr. Scott take the first mouthful. Exactly what I got through it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What does it taste of? Garlic. Don't tell you about walnuts. Yeah? Be true. It didn't say it had yogurt in it though, which is why I ordered it. As, um, oh well, let's see how this goes with lactose intolerance. I'm sure it'll go great. So it's got walnuts in it, it's got garlic in it, as Scott said, it's got beetroot, loads of it, and it is cold. And as I said to Scott, it could be like the Bulgarian equivalent of gazpacho, but then the very rude waiter gave me a lecture on how it's not gazpacho. I'm not actually stupid, I do know it's not made of tomatoes. Mm. They are extremely grumpy in this restaurant. Speak to mommy if you can have her bread, so never mind. Mm. I still don't know what it's called, but I'm an absolute fangirl of this bright pink soup. It's really, it really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. This is the bar. Oh yeah, it's Central Perk. It's got a friend's vibe. If you want a friend's bar. I'm going quickly though before Scott starts singing because I think you might know the Friends theme tune. Just when you he's think he's jailbreaking. Is he jailbreaking? Yes, he's jailbreaking. I have much more creativity than you. Yeah. Why? What happens to creativity when you get older? You lose like. <laughs> so some adults can have it like you. <laughs> Sweet talker. And so we went back to our favorite a la Korea restaurant for more amazing vegetarian food. Unfortunately, they messed the order up a little bit and things arrived late, so they gave us an apology. What an apology it was. Apology cake. Yeah. It's a special <laughs> Bulgarian apology cake. <laughs> we love it. It's our favorite restaurant. So I really hope you enjoyed our whistle stop tour of Philanopolis, or as you might know it, Plovdiv. With its incredible old buildings, its amazing artwork, some would call it graffiti, but I think it's really art, and Kapana, a district that we were so surprised to come across and we loved. From its quaint little streets, its gift shops, the vibe, I'm doing the finger puppets, the vibe, um, the food was absolutely incredible in every single bar in the area from puddings to breakfast to salads. So I hope you really loved our trip. And please give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more of our amazing Big Love Travels.